Today I want to talk about what we've learned by raising chicks with our broody hens. We had two hens go broody within 10 days of each other and we decided to put our own eggs under them. And today I just want to show you and share with you the benefits that we've experienced and seen throughout this process. Yeah, you grab her. Little Gray's gonna get some new roommates. What a messy pig you are, Mr. Matty Pants. <laughs> Feel good. <laughs> Our chickens prefer to be dry and mucky. <laughs> Dust bathing enables chickens to not let mites grow close to their skin. So it's super good for them to lay in the dust and fluff it all in their feathers. I didn't bring out any scraps right now. You guys can have water and whatever you can eat out there. Go eat some grass. Do you know that you are a cooney cooney pig and that you can eat grass? I love the way little Gray has integrated her chicks out here. They're happy. And I think she's warned them enough about the pigs and the dog. <laughs> May and I were just reflecting on how much easier it is to simply facilitate the natural processes that Little Gray and Buttercup have had by going broody and just sticking fertilized eggs under them. We haven't had to pay any money to a hatchery. We haven't had any of our chicks die once they were actually born. We had chicks die trying to get out of their shells, but they've all been super healthy. The moms have taught them everything. So all their eating, pecking and scratching and getting into places and when they need to drink, when they need to be protected. All of it has been overseen by their moms. It's made for a really easy process for us because we've just had to put them up at night. So we get them out in the morning, let them, the first uh, 10 days for both sets of chicks, we just let them forage in our garden because they wanted to stay close to the brooder box. And so that was perfect. And then now at 10 days old, we've moved them out to an adjacent coop to the yard. And so then the mom can decide when they go in and out. And we're used to, like with our adult hens, they didn't even get to go outside until they were like a week and a half or two weeks old. Already these chickens have been outside for more than a week. Um, but after about two weeks, most days, we would try to give them an hour to two hours outside in the baby gate. But what that meant was, because they didn't have a mama to help protect them, one of us always had to be there. And it was a, always setting it up. And this process has been a breeze. All I've done every day is just sit out their food and water in the garden. And they've actually weeded this thing for us too. There's almost no weeds in here anymore. It's so nice. And they've gotten used to hunting and pecking and I'm glad we've been able to participate with that this time. It's made for an easier process for everyone. And at, at 10 days old, Buttercup's little chicks are such good foragers and they're digging around and scratching around and it's so sweet to see the way that being around a mama has just multiplied by 10 or maybe even a hundred fold their natural inclinations of hunting, pecking, eating bugs, scratching, running out in the grass and foraging rather than just sitting and eating feed. It's so sweet to see. I've loved it. If you go right up here, better Look. 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 That's your own yard. Yeah, see? What do you think? Yeah, you got chicks in here, Mama. Okay. So that's your old 
we are. It took two or three times of me showing little Gray that that was the door to their old normal chicken yard for her to get it. But I'm hoping that Buttercup will benefit not only from me showing her that one time, but also little Gray will be coming in and out. And so that should teach her also that, hey, if I want to, I can go out there and I can take my chicks out there. So we'll see. I'm gonna miss having the little chicks here. We're gonna need to clean out and put away the brooder box until, I don't know, maybe a year from now or something. I don't know. If I have the patience for it, I might give in to another broody hen. We'll see. Beans are taller, but they have nowhere to go. I am editing the episode about Ethan joining the Marines and I need an emotional break. <laughs> so I'm gonna go check on the animals. Little Gray is doing awesome with her chickens out here with her little chicks. They're smart and protected and she's keeping them away from the dog and the pigs. I think these chicks are gonna be better foragers than our purebred chickens. Look at them, they're like digging into all the seeds and grasses. Wow. She does so sassy. good and they just follow her so cute. You wanna go down? She might be nervous about flying that far. Or she's just content. <laughs> yeah, she is content. There, there you go. go. <laughs> she's going now. Where is mama? Where is mama? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Sir Francis got my feet filthy because of all the licking. <laughs> Their mamas hadn't even gone outside at this age and they are like going after grain and grass. It is just super cool to see these babies so fast becoming so chickeny. Good, Rosie's eating grass over there. Good, that's what we want to see is our cooney coonies being cooney coonies. Not just grain and scraps, but actually going after the grass. Good job, Rosie. <laughs> what is she gonna do? Get in the middle of it. <laughs> they don't like that. Look at that man. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Is that okay? I don't have to. <laughs> oh, Aaron's excited. <laughs> Today I've spent a good bit of time editing, trying to get caught up. Vlogging is functioning for me similar to how my writing has done over the years, where it's letting me process and analyze and think and be more deliberate in the things that I'm thinking and believing so that I'm living with purpose and intentionality rather than in reaction mode. I came to look in this coop and little Gray and her chicks are perched up on the perch tonight. So Buttercup has the ground to herself with her babies but little Gray has her babies perched up, which is awesome. Those are two and a half week old babies. Already acting like big chickens. She is training them up right. I totally feel like 
this is a better, easier way <laughs> of raising chickens.